Amidst the activity during the window period between IEBC's declaration of a president-elect and disputes to be taken to the judiciary before the country can have a new president sworn in, the president and deputy president-elect have been keeping busy. Their diary, from receiving congratulatory and goodwill messages from foreign envoys to meeting outgoing President Kibaki, security chiefs, ministers and just today, women under the Jubilee banner who won very seats in the March 4th polls. Their competitors in the court formation have also been busy preparing to file a petition with the Supreme Court challenging the presidential tally. This as Kenyans await the smoke signal on transition. The president and deputy president-elect call to move the country forward, informing their move to extend an olive branch to those they were in the state house race with. Kenyatta and Ruto met and held talks with Musalia Mudavadi from the Amani Coalition, Professor James Olekiapi from the Restore and Build Kenya Party, Abduba Dida from the Alliance for Real Change, and Paul Mwite from Safina in talks aimed at forming a government that would include even those they were in competition with as they they sought to succeed outgoing President Kibaki. We had a plan as a Jubilee Coalition, and we are not going to waste one single moment that God has given us at it because we are waiting for a rule. The judicial process proceeds, the Jubilee government continues to prepare to govern this nation. People are uh, asking very many questions. Why the Jubilee Coalition has begun the process of moving this country forward. We have done that because when we spoke during the campaign trail, Kenyans were listening. Earlier, the president and deputy president-elect had also reached out to their competitors in the court formation, saying they should not hold the country at ransom and allow Kenyans and their government to get right down to work and embark on realizing the transformation agenda for the country. It is time we moved ahead and we keep saying, come on, brothers and sisters, let us join hands, let us work together, let us accommodate each other's views. At the end of the day, there is no vote that doesn't count. Every single vote counts. A vote for you, a vote against you, all those votes count. And we must take the concerns of all those people in heart so that we are able to move forward. The two pledging to open their doors to all Kenyans, saying an all-inclusive government would transform the country and ensure the people's input is key in realizing the solutions they set out in their manifesto. And already, we are under pressure. Hmm? Kenyans, I, I remember I sent an SMS that was sent to my phone to His Excellency, the President-elect. A Kenyan was saying uh, their daughter who is in standard one, is already asking when she is coming to pick the <laughs> laptop computer. <laughs> 